Prince Charles publicly admitted he was not faithful to Princess Diana in a documentary in 1994, with the consequences of the move described as unimaginable. Speaking to broadcaster Jonathan Dimbleby for the documentary Charles, the private man, the public role, the prince admitted his infidelity after his marriage to Diana irretrievably broken down. Mr. Dimbleby said, Did you try to be faithful and honorable to your wife when you took on the vow of marriage? Charles replied, Yes, absolutely. Mr. Dimbleby asked, And you were? And Charles said, Yes, until it became irretrievably broken down, us both having tried. The bombshell revelation came after Richard Aylward, Charles's private secretary, asked Mr. Dimbleby to make a documentary and write a book about Charles for the 25th anniversary of his investiture as Prince of Wales. Charles and Diana had announced their separation in 1992. In her biography of Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, titled The Duchess, The Untold Story, royal author Penny Jr. said the documentary sparked Charles and Diana's divorce, as well as Camilla's split from her husband Andrew Parker Bowles. Ems Jr. said, it had begun as such a well-intentioned exercise, but the consequences were unimaginable and the deal that Aylward struck with Dimbleby, without consulting anyone in the household, had left the prince very exposed. Charles, the private man, the public role, which ran for two and a half hours and was seen by 14 million viewers, was directly responsible for Andrew divorcing Camilla, for Diana's devastating panorama interview, watched by 23 million viewers, and for her divorce from the Prince of Wales. Because in just three minutes out of the two and a half hours of good works, the Prince admitted his adultery. Ems Jr. added that the move was a disaster. The royal author said, at a press conference the next day Elward confirmed that the adultery to which the Prince had confessed was indeed with Mrs. Parker Bowles. It was official. And it was a disaster. In Diana's Panorama interview a year later in 1995, she revealed that there were three of us in her and Charles's marriage and that it was a bit crowded. Charles and Diana went on to divorce in 1996, two years after Charles's explosive documentary. Camilla suffered a brutal rejection from the Queen when she first dated Prince Charles in the early 1970s, with the monarch refusing to let Camilla near her, according to a shocking claim. Prince Charles and Camilla met in mid-1971 when they belonged to the same social circles and occasionally attended the same events, including polo matches at Smith's Lawn in Windsor Great Park. They began dating around 1972. And as their relationship became more serious, Charles was introduced to Camilla's family in Plumpton, and Camilla met certain members of the royal family. However, the future Duchess was reportedly banned from meeting the Queen, with both the monarch and Prince Philip disapproving of the relationship as Camilla was viewed as unmarriageable. Christopher Wilson, a royal biographer and journalist, commented on the Queen's dislike for Camilla saying, the Queen and Prince Philip knew everything about Prince Charles' relationship with Camilla, the Queen said I will not have that woman in my presence. Prince Philip reportedly took a more pragmatic view of mistresses, but believed unsuitable partners should be kept in the background. Speaking in the documentary series, The Royal House of Windsor, Mr. Wilson said, the problem with Prince Charles was, you are not supposed to be in love with your mistress, you are supposed to have sex with your mistress, but Charles had fallen in love with Camilla, and that really screwed everything. Historian Professor Jane Ridley noted the Queen was keen on steering Prince Charles away from dating someone deemed as unmarriageable, following the union of Wallace Simpson and King Edward VIII which led to his abdication. She said, the only thing that the royal family wanted to avoid was that the Prince of Wales should become involved in a woman who was unmarriageable from the point of view of a royal family, but it seemed this pattern was reappearing. The Queen's dislike for Camilla reportedly stemmed from the fact she was not a virgin, and had former boyfriends prior to dating Prince Charles. Historian Dr. Piers Brendan commented on the issue, saying, it was absolutely vital to have on the throne someone who was a virgin, a future queen must have no past. Author Penny Jr. added, There is no suggestion that Camilla was a loose woman, 
but she had had boyfriends. Notably, Camilla had been dating Prince Charles' polo friend Andrea Parker Bowles, whom she later married in July 1973. Ems Jr. described Camilla as funny, outspoken, and a bit outlandish, who had lived a little compared to Prince Charles who was still very green around the ears. Prince Charles subsequently fell for Camilla big time, and expressed real sadness when their relationship eventually ended in 1973. Mr. Wilson said, Charles was young, he was red-blooded, he was a passionate man, and I think we was looking for someone who could blow him away, and the meeting of the two was like a thunderclap. Prince Charles nevertheless called off the relationship in January 1973 when he traveled to the Caribbean to spend eight months with the Royal Navy, and Camilla subsequently married Mr. Parker Bowles later that year. The breakdown of their relationship caused Prince Charles to spiral out of control, and he subsequently dated a series of girlfriends in his quest to find a suitable wife, according to the documentary. Mr. Wilson said, what he got was a string of arm candy people who he really wasn't that interested in, but people who he took out because it made him look good. Charles eventually met Princess Diana in 1977 while visiting her home, Althorpe in Northamptonshire, and eventually proposed to her in February 1981. Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall will become queen despite Clarence House's previously claiming she will not take the title when her husband is crowned, a former private secretary said. When Camilla married Prince Charles in 2005, the royal palace issued a statement saying the Prince of Wales's second wife would not use the title of queen consort out of deference to late Princess Diana. But a royal insider believes the chances of seeing a queen Camilla are high. Patrick Jefferson private secretary to Diana, the Princess of Wales, between 1989 and 1996, shared his views on what the future holds for the Duchess of Cornwall. Appearing on Channel 4's The Royal House of Windsor, he said, I think Queen Camilla was always on the cards. You'll never find it acknowledged, you'll find clever wording like there are no plans or it is not envisaged. But I bet you a dollar to a donut Her Majesty Queen Camilla will be crowned. Mr. Jeffson's shocking claim came shortly before Clarence House removed any references to the potential title the Duchess will use once her husband and heir will ascend to the throne. Last year, the Royals' official website stated in its Frequently Asked Questions page, Will the Duchess become queen when the prince becomes king? As was explained at the time of their wedding in April 2005. It is intended that the Duchess will be known as HRH the Prince's Consort when the Prince of Wales acceded to the throne. Clarence House officials said the statement was removed because the public was no longer interested in the issue. Prince Charles and Camilla had a years-long affair while the Prince of Wales was still married to Diana. The affair was made public by the Princess in 1995 during a bombshell interview to Panorama where Diana unveiled the deepest secrets of her unhappy marriage, famously saying there were three people in her relationship with Charles. Following Diana's death in 1997, Prince Charles made clear within the palace his relationship with Camilla was non-negotiable. And it was officially revealed two years later, on January 29, 1999, when the pair was seen leaving London's Ritz Hotel together. Mr. Jeffson's belief there will be a Queen Camilla is already proven correct by the British Constitution, which states the wife of the king automatically becomes a queen consort. Royal expert James Brooks had previously told Express.co.uk, Camilla will become queen, there is no choice to make. Only a direct intervention of the government in the royal matter would prevent this from happening. But a change in the Constitution for a similar reason may upset many, Mr. Brooks said. The expert continued, despite the public opinion started to change over the years, many are still very skeptical about Camilla, a lot of people are antagonistic towards her and that's mainly down to the relationship in previous history with Diana. But while her becoming queen could enrage some, a change in the Constitution just for Camilla may get even more people very upset.